Hello grade 10 students, in this video we're going to talk about the hormonal communication. In our body we have two types of communication. The first one is called the nervous communication. Nervous communication it occurs through the nervous system and this is a very fast communication where it occurs in milliseconds. The second type of communication is called the hormonal communication. From its name, hormonal, it occurs through hormones. This communication, compared to the nervous communication, is slow. It occurs in a few seconds and maybe in a few minutes, as compared to the nervous communication, as we said. So here, between the nervous communication and the hormonal communication in this table. In this table, nervous communication, it occurs through a nervous message, whereas Endocrine communication it occurs through a hormonal message. The nervous communication is a rapid response, it's very fast, whereas endocrine it's slow compared to the nervous. Nervous communication it's an electrochemical message where it com it's combined between electricity and potential difference and chemical by the concentration of the ions, whereas in the endocrine communication it's a chemical messages through hormones. Nervous message is transmitted from one urine to another urine or from a urine to an effector organ. Whereas the hormones, they are transported by blood from glands to the target organs. Effector organ is connected to the nervous system by the help of nerves. Whereas the target organs in the endocrine communication, they are not connected to the endocrine lens nervous communication is not controlled by endocrine whereas the endocrine maybe it's controlled by the nervous centers what is a gland a gland is an organ that synthesizes or produce or gives certain chemical substances these substances are hormones and they have specific target organs we have three types of glands. The first type of glands called the endocrine glands. Endocrine glands, they are glands that secrete hormones were directly to the blood. For example about this, thyroid gland, they secrete the hormone thyroxine. Also, pancreas secretes insulin. All of them, they secrete them into the blood. So endo, into the blood. Second type of gland is called the exocrine glands. The exocrine glands, they are glands that secrete substances through special ducts and not directly into the blood. Example about this, salivary gland. What do they do? They secrete saliva inside the mouth through a special duct in the mouth. While pancreas secretes pancreatic juice were in the small intestine. So exocrine glands, they secrete substances through special ducts where endocrine they secrete substances directly into the blood third is the mixed gland mixed gland it has both functions exocrine and endocrine like the pancreas for example it has an endocrine function and it has an exocrine function what is the target organ target organ it's a specific organ where hormones, they act. The target organ, it has cells where specific receptors, they are found for hormones. The binding of the hormone to its receptor will induce a change in the target organ. So these hormones, they are found inside secretory vesicles and they are secreted into the uh, ducts and then they move toward their binding sites whenever they bind to their binding sites on the target organs they will induce a change in the target organ and will induce specific responses what are the steps of the hormonal communication these steps we have to study them in order first we have the secretion of the hormone by the endocrine gland where into the blood then this hormone will circulate in the blood vessels. After this, the hormone will pass from the blood 
to its specific target organ. Whenever it reaches the target organ, the hormone will fix to the receptors of the target cells, forming what's known by the hormone receptor complex. What the meaning of this hormone binding to the receptor on the target organ is called the hormone receptor complex. And then this formation will induce a response in the target cells. So let's repeat this. First, we have secretion of a hormone by endocrine glands directly into the blood. Then the hormone will circulate in the blood vessels. Then the hormone will pass from the blood to the target organ. When the fixes to the receptors on the target organ, they will form by the hormone receptor complex. So the binding of the hormone to its receptor on the target organ is called the hormone receptor complex. The formation of this complex will induce a response in the target cell. Here, let's talk about some of the glands, their location, their secreted hormones, functions, and their target organ. Let's start with the pituitary gland. Pituitary gland is located at the base of the brain below the hypothalamus. The hormones secreted by the pituitary gland they are TSH and HGH. TSH is thyroid stimulating hormone. This is the function of this hormone, thyroid stimulating hormone. So it stimulates the thyroid gland to secrete thyroxin. What is the target organ of this thyroid stimulating hormone? So this hormone stimulates the thyroid gland. So the target organ sure is going to be the thyroid gland. Whereas the second hormone, the HGH, human growth hormone. This human growth hormone is used to stimulate uh, the growth and the development. And it works throughout the whole body. So the target organ is the whole body. So this is the pituitary gland. It's located below the hypothalamus and the base of the brain. This is the pituitary gland. Second gland is called the thyroid gland. Thyroid gland is found at the level of the neck. It secreted two hormones, thyroxine in its spike T3 and T4. So we have two types, T3 and T4, but mainly they are called thyroxine. They influence the metabolic reaction, the reaction that are related to metabolism, and they work throughout the whole body. So this is the thyroid gland, it's found at the level of the neck, and it has a role in the metabolism.